I started oboe at age 10. I was in fifth grade. My band director, he came into the, um, my classroom and he asked if anybody wanted to play a band instrument. And I actually was indecisive. I was very indecisive about it. And then finally at the last minute, I decided that I would, I would go out in the hallway and, and uh, choose a band instrument because I missed string day in fourth grade. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, I'll play a band instrument. Sure, I, I think I'll play the flute. That sounds good. And uh, so uh, by the time I got to talk to the band director, he, he said, well, we have a lot of people playing the flute. You know, but you have good ears. You, you have a good embouchure. I think you should try a more challenging instrument like the oboe or the French horn. And I said, well, French horn? I don't want to carry that home from school. So I'll try the oboe. And, and then so I went to my mom and I said, um, mom, what, what's an oboe? <laughs> and she just said, well, it's the duck and Peter and the wolf. And, and so I said, well, I'm, I'm going to play that. And so I, I, I played in the band in elementary school and in middle school and in high school. Uh, I went to uh, Lake Braddock Secondary School, which is in Virginia. And Carl Bly was the band director there. And he really had us have a sense of uh, doing something that's bigger than any one of us. And that was the most incredible thing. And he also instilled in us that if we work hard at something, th there's virtually no limit to what we can accomplish. But we, ha we need to work hard, and we need to work together. That was his mantra. So I went after that. I, I really actually was indecisive as well about uh, going into it as a career. But I decided, actually, at first, I thought I wanted to be a pianist. And, um, but I, only, I didn't want to be just any pianist. I wanted to be the pianist. And so I auditioned at Peabody. Um, but I didn't realize it was like the, one of the best piano schools in the world. I did not get in, but that was actually the best thing that could possibly happen. So. Um, at the same time, I was, my mom got me into this uh, National Symphony Apprenticeship Program. And that um, National Symphony is in Washington, D.C. And they had this program where they had people, that, uh, high school people that would come in that were, are interested in a musical career, and they got to discuss with um, um, musicians they got to discuss with management and figure out like how does this music business work. They got we got to um, go and uh, listen to rehearsals, and we got a tour. We you know I just remember I learned so much from this. I, I learned about the business of music as well as uh, playing music, and and what is it like to be in an orchestra. I learned so much from this, and it was it was a one rehearsal in particular that I was sitting in when, it's gonna sound crazy, but I heard a voice saying, you're gonna do that. And it was during an oboe solo that, that and, and, and this voice said, you're, that's what you're gonna do. And I'm like, who's talking to me, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> and, but finally, I'm like, well, I. Hmm, I'm gonna have to reroute. If that's true, I'm gonna have to reroute my whole game plan here. And so um, by that time, it was I, it was February or March, uh, and so it was getting pretty late. And so I decided that I would go to uh, James Madison University in Virginia. And um, at, and if it was really true that I was going to go into performance, I thought I'm, I'm probably gonna transfer. But if not, uh, maybe I'm gonna do something else. Uh, um, or not music performance, but maybe music education, because that was also important to me too. Uh, so I uh, went there and um, 
Ben Wright was my oboe teacher there, and he really instilled in me a, a strong sense of discipline, and that the, and I really tried to follow what he said to a T, you know, just like really practicing the scales and really just going after it. Because I thought, well, if I'm going to be, if I, if the voice is true, I better, <laughs> I better follow through and and do these steps. So I did, and I then I um, transferred and I, I got into Oberlin, and so I went to Oberlin for three years. And Jimmy Caldwell was my teacher there, and uh, he was just the perfect teacher for me. He was very artistic. He's the consummate artist. He just, just artistry oozed out of his veins. You know, it's just it's amazing. So I learned so much from him. And then I, after graduating from there, I was, what do I do now? So I thought, well, let's go to grad school. So I got into Eastman School of Music and studied with uh, Richard Kilmer there. And uh, he was the, the, he's the greatest problem solver I know. And it, oboe, if anything, it's a problem to be solved. You know, you have, you have your things, if it's not going right, try to analyze it, try to figure out oh, how do you make it better. And he, he just incredible, so. There's my story.